Hi friends. Welcome once again to our YouTube channel Nursing Exams Preparation. Now we are going to discuss regarding important MCQ questions and answers for various nursing officer competitive examinations like RRB, AIMS, PGIMER, JIPMER, DSSB, and MSC nursing examinations. So let's start the topic first. First question is, for education of measles, immunization coverage should be at least A. 80% B. 85% C. 96% D. 100% Option B. 85% is the correct answer. Measles is a highly infectious illness caused by the rubeola virus. Symptoms of measles includes watery eyes, sneezing, and a dry hacking cough. Three C's of measles are cough, coryza, or runny nose, conjunctivitis, coplic spots, or very small grayish white spots with bluish white centers in the mouth, and sides of cheeks, and throat is a marked sign of measles. Incubation period is about 10 to 14 days. Second question is, incubation period in mumps is a. 10 days, b. 5 days, c. 9 days, d. 18 days. Last option 18 days is the right answer. Mumps is an extremely contagious viral infection of the salivary glands that most commonly affects children. Complications of mumps include uporitis, orchitis, viral meningitis and inflamed pancreatitis. Next question is, when a patient is admitted to the psychiatric unit, they proclaim, I am the Duke of York. How dare you touch me? This is an example of a. Delusion of reference b. Delusional parasitosis c. Grandiose delusion d. Persecutory delusions Option C. Grandiose delusion is the correct answer. Next question is, scurvy is a deficiency disease due to a. Vitamin A b. Vitamin D c. Vitamin C D. Vitamin B12. Option C. Vitamin C is the correct answer. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid. It is an antioxidant. It is used to prevent and treat scurvy. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient involved in the repair of tissue and the enzymatic production of certain neurotransmitters. Next question is, most ideal equipment for vaccine storage in a PHC is A. Domestic refrigerator B. Ice-lined refrigerator C. Cold box D. Vaccine carrier Option B. Ice-lined refrigerator is the correct answer. Lined refrigerators are designed for storing life-saving vaccines. Ice-lined refrigerators are designed to maintain the cold chain which is a must feature of ice-lined refrigerators is for routine and emergency vaccine handling. Next question is, dental caries is caused due to deficiency of a. iodine, b. iron, c. fluorine, d. copper. Option c. fluorine is the correct answer. Dental caries, which is also known as tooth decay or cavities, is one of the most common and widespread persistent diseases today, and is also one of the most preventable disease. When we eat certain foods, the bacteria on the teeth breaks them down and produces acids that have the ability to seriously damage the hard tissues of the tooth. This will result in the formation of dental caries. Next question is, RCH program was launched in the year A. 1997 B. 1992 C. 1990 D. 1998
Option A 1997 is the right answer. The Reproductive and Child Health RCH program was launched in October 1997. The main aim of the program is to reduce infant, child and maternal mortality rates. The components of RCH include essential obstetrical care, emergency obstetrical care, strengthening referral system, strengthening project management, strengthening infrastructure, capacity building, improving referral system, innovative schemes. Next question is, the commonest cause of maternal morbidity in India is a. anemia, b. hemorrhage, c. abortion, d. sepsis. Option B. Hemorrhage is the correct answer. Maternal morbidity is defined as any health condition attributed to and or aggravated by pregnancy and childbirth that has a negative impact on the woman's well-being. Next question is, it is most important for the nurse to observe a client with tetanus for. First option is muscular rigidity. Option B. Respiratory tract spasm. Option C. Restlessness and irritation. And last option is spastic voluntary contraction. Option B. Respiratory tract spasm is the right answer. Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a serious infection caused by Clostridium tetani. This bacterium produces a toxin that affects the brain and nervous system, leading to stiffness in the muscles. Next question is, Hepatitis A is transmitted by. First option is contaminated food and water. Option B. Blood and blood products. Option C. Fomites. Last option is sexual contact. Option A. Contaminated food and water is the correct answer. Hepatitis A is a viral liver disease that can cause mild to severe illness. The hepatitis A virus is transmitted through ingestion of contaminated food and water. Next question is, the client with acute renal failure has a serum potassium level of 6 milli equivalent per liter. The nurse would plan which of the following is a priority action. A. Check the sodium level. B. Place the client on a cardiac monitor. C. Encourage increased vegetables in the diet. D. Allow an extra 500 milliliters of fluid to dilute the electrolyte concentration. Option B. Place the client on a cardiac monitor is the right answer. Next question is, a client is admitted to the hospital with possible rheumatic endocarditis. The nurse would assess the client for which of the following. A. Fever and sore throat. B. Vaginal itching. C. Bug bites or skin scratches. D. Burning on urination. Option A. Fever and sore throat is the correct answer. Next question is, a nurse is caring for an infant with a diagnosis of hydrocephalus. Preoperatively, a priority nursing intervention is to a. test the urine for protein, b. reposition the infant frequently, c. provide a stimulating environment, d. assess blood pressure every 15 minutes. Option B. Reposition the infant frequently is the correct answer. In infants with hydrocephalus, the head grows at an abnormal rate and if the infant is not repositioned frequently, pressure ulcers can occur on the back and side of the head. A simple question for you friends. A nurse is caring for a client in the postpartum period immediately after delivery. The nurse performs an assessment on the client and prepares to assess uterine involution by 
A. Auscultating the bowel sounds B. Assessing the amount of drainage on the parapad C. Palpating the uterine fundus D. Monitoring the vital signs Please put your answers in the comment box below this video. Please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel Nursing Exams Preparation.